Shalom Wong with the GMS Louisiana Saints here to bring you a quick lesson. Before we get started, I want to give infinite honors and prayers to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakahakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles who taught us this word in truth and sincerity. Peace and salutation to the hopefully elect. And we pray that this lesson may be edifying. Kind, kind. Uh, well, the, bringing out this lesson about uh, false idol worshiping, which is something obviously that's big in Babylon, but also that's big with us, Jakes, you dig? Underneath the 12 tribes, starting with Judah. So the first thing I'm gonna get to is the definition of this word idol. It says it is an image from, sorry, from the dictionary.com. It says it is an image or an other material object representing a deity to which religious worship is addressed. The second definition, an image of deity other than the most high, the deity itself. Any person or thing regarded with blind admiration, adoration, or devotion. So right there, that's something that's big in our community that's going on right now. Uh, the main thing behind this entire video is the NBA Finals. I've been watching uh, the, the Boston Celtics versus uh, the Golden State Warriors, but a specific guy named Jason Tatum, who gives his honor and glory to Kobe Bryant, which is, is, is something that is, is madness and, and is sickening, very vexing to the spirit right now, you know, if, if you're in this truth. And I know I'm not the only one that, that's, that's catching this, this, this sign that's going on. But all in all, we know that it's only one. It's only one person we need to worship. Only one person, you know, who gets our honor and glory. But and that's Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Kind. And just to back up what you're saying real quick, hey, our our people from you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are all twelve tribes, especially in Babylon the Great, are some of the biggest idol worshippers out here. Kind. As the brother was saying, you've got this one basketball player who's worshiping Kobe Bryant as his idol, yep. his God, his where he he learned everything from and met and uh shapes his whole life after. And, and, and who did Kobe Bryant model himself after? Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. And as that definition said, it's either worshiping an idol or a person. For one, worshiping Kobe Bryant. And look at what Michael Jordan too. A lot of these jakes out here still worship him as a god. And what do they do? They worship his shoes. Come. Jordan's as a god. Come. Jake will line up around the block to get those shoes. And Jake will put each other to death for those shoes. Yeah. And it's not just these, these basketball players and celebrities, which are a, a huge stumbling block for our people out here. They look at them as gods. They look at comedians, athletes, Come. and uh, these false leaders as the leaders of our community when they should be looking at Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Hence, why our people are constantly getting led astray. And when we look at our, the, the history of our people in the past, what, what's been one of the things that's led us away? Idol worship. Come. Worshiping these other gods, and especially the, these, these women out here. Jake would get with the women of the other nations, mm -hmm. and as, as brothers constantly go into, it's nothing wrong with dealing with the women of the other nations, but where, where did the problems come into place? Come. Worshiping and following after their gods, such as what our forefathers did when we went into the land of Canaan, and even before the land of Canaan with those uh, nations that they ran into. And then King Solomon, he had a, a thousand wives, and uh, I think it was uh, 700 concubines or 700 women of the other nations, and he didn't go off for dealing with those women. He went off because in his old age, he started following after those gods, and then what do we see? The kingdom, the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom split apart, and then, hey, that's where we're at right now. Got but it. as we've woken up to this truth, we've come to see the false idols of this society we live in. Hey, Jake worships even Esau yeah. as a god. Yeah. This, this American way, getting that dollar, getting that bag, going down to Egypt for help. And Egypt, hey, that was a stronghold for Jake back then, those Egyptian idols, which are heavily pushed in this spiritual Egypt. Right. And just like those Jakes were cut off for their false, their, their, their wayward ways of following after these idols and these people, these other nations, it's going to be no different with you Jakes today. Right. And I got the precept right there behind you. Uh, this is Exodus 20 and 1. And the Most High saying all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. And hey, if I could say, that was a physical act back then. 
the, the nation of Israel was physically brought out of the land of Egypt. But hey, we're in a spiritual Egypt right now. Come. And as it says in Micah 2 verse 10, arise ye and depart for this is not your rest. Come. That's not talking about getting on a plane and flying over to the Holy Land and, uh, and, and eating latkes all goddamn day. What it's talking about is arising from this place spiritually. And, the, and as it says, I am Yahweh thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Right now, the Most High has brought us spiritually, mentally out of the land of Egypt. The, the brothers and the, and the few sincere sisters out there that have had their eyes and ears open to this truth are no longer calling themselves black, Latino, Native American, African American, worshiping Kobe Bryant, the, the final four, mm -hmm. worshiping Jordans. They're worshiping Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. They're casting off the idols and the ways of the spiritual Egypt to come out of the spiritual bondage back unto their power, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Come. Verse 3 says, Thou shalt have slightly, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeliness of anything that is in the heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth any point you want to make on that eye Con. so verse 3 alone that's obviously you know the main topic of this entire thing which jake is constantly doing to this day but that's also something we we, we could end the video on that right then and there like it's 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 plain Thou shalt not serve any other gods, which Jake worship, you know, so many things that they, Kobe Bryant, like as we were saying, for example, Kobe Bryant is looked at as a god in basketball. If they, they have this thing called, uh, you know, the basketball gods, the football gods, and so on and so forth. These are the men that are really good in the sport. The rap but, gods. The rap gods. Superstars. Come. A star. A, a, a lower luminary. Come. But all in all... They're, they're false. They're, 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 they're false gods, Jake. And I got one to just back you up real quick. Come. And just to, just to make a point on that real quick where it says, Thou shalt not make an, a likeness of the image of anything in heaven above, Come. or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Just just staying on the analogies of uh, these, these uh, entertainers and basketball stars, how can Jake make an image to him? Getting the little fat heads yep. with the and putting that in the wall, and Jake will wake up every morning. Say Jake wants to be the next Kobe Bryant yeah. or the next major basketball player. He'll wake up, look at that every morning, style his hair, his clothes like that, and go out and try to be just like Kobe or, or what was that one movie? Uh, like Mike. Like Mike, huh? Be like Mike. That was the the premise of that whole movie. I want to be like Mike. And then you got Jake's, of course, Jake's into, into Kemet and these other false philosophies out here. Jake mm -hmm. will wake up in the morning. And I and I've I've known Jakes before that have little shrines in their house. Yeah. Those little shrines where they put money to it, or they put uh things that uh say a uncle or a cousin died. They'll put things that they liked on the shrine and money on it and pray to it. God. Just complete bugness and madness. God. God. And another thing, Jake Jake will wake up and check his bank account, which we're not saying is 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 uh wicked to check your bank account and see just to make sure how much funds you got. Jake will check and be like, oh. Jake will get in love seeing those big numbers. Oh. He's like, I got to have it. I got to have more. And then Jake will, Jake will work, bow down to that, that almighty dollar. There's a lot of, a lot of snares oh. in, in Babylon the Great, which King David said was, was the valley of the shadow of death. And let me just uh, get my real point. Quick. Oh. This is uh, just to back up what you were saying. Mm. This is uh, Jeremiah 17, verse 5. Thus saith Yahweh. Cursed be the man that trusteth in man and maketh flesh his arm and whose heart departeth from Yahweh. Huh. You want to make a point on it? No, that's, that's pretty much plain. Kind, there's, kind. There's nothing really else to kind, put down. Enough. Kind. Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, trusteth in Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, shit, trusteth in your own abilities, or you may work out or, or sprint, sprint real fast and you think you're that dude trusting in Esau or his system that can go into a whole host of things uh, I think you're on uh, verse 5 yeah come verse 5 thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them for I the Lord thy God am a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children upon the third and fourth generation of them that hate me so right here and there 
the Lord is letting you know that I am jealous. I am a jealous power. You know, it, it, what, what Jake may think, it may be something small of like, uh, you know, this is just a man that, you know, it's, it's not like I'm, I'm worshiping Allah or, or Buddha or something like that. It's, this is just a, a, just a man. But at the end of the day, you hold that man to a very high stature. You give all praises and honors to that man. You dig? To, to, to Kobe, to Michael Jordan, to LeBron James, to all these athletes and so on and so forth in the world. But at the end of the day, they not shit. Just like the brother just brought out in Micah, it's, it's another man. We don't give infinite honors to, you know, men like that of, of that stature. We give our infinite honors to holy men and first and foremost to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And who did those holy men give honors to? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Again, in that Jeremiah 17, cursed be the man that trusteth in man. In uh, verse 6, uh, last verse, and showing mercy unto the thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. And who is that? That's the hopeful elect. The men that's out here doing this work. We give our infinite honors and we follow the laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. And like I said, give the infinite honors to the most high. Then, right there, uh, if I can make a point real quick, as it says in verse 5, I'm going to just reread it. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, Yahweh, thy power, am a jealous power, mm -hmm. visiting, and this is the part I want to hearken on, visiting the iniquity of the fathers unto the upon the children, unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. The Most High is saying, hey, for I'm a jealous power, and he visits the iniquity unto the third and the fourth generation of them that hate us, Hate, it's like he hates him. And why are we in this situation right now? Because generations ago, our forefathers fell off and, and worshiped these false idols and fell away from their power. And we are our forefathers in the regeneration. So down the line, we're coming back. And in this situation right now, huh. in this situation, getting punished, getting our ass kicked in by these heathens, getting ruled over by these heathens, because in the past, we, uh, we followed after false idols and the ways of these heathens. But now, as we've woken up and coming back to our power, and we're casting off the ways of this world, and Abarat Dazah were of that elect number, the children that are going to come through our loins, hey, they're going to come back righteous and won't be cursed because, hey, we, we came out of those ways and, and, and started following the righteous path. So as our children come out, the, of course, we're going to have the law, statutes and commandments in us. So we'll never go off through the new covenant, but they're going to come through our loins perfected, huh. following after Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, as we are for the rest of eternity. Huh. What's yeah. the next precept you got? Our uh, next precept I have is one, Psalms 135 and 5. I got it for you. Huh. You said 135 and, and 5. This is Psalms 135 verse 5. For I know that Yahweh is great. And that our Lord is above all gods. So right then and there. That's exactly, you know, in another term that what the brother just brought out that in the kingdom, everything is going to be okay because everybody's going to know that it won't be no, it won't be no other way. It won't be no other gods will ever be spoken of unless, you know, we'll probably be laughing at all that shit back, you know, of that happened in the past. But the whole world will know that the Lord is above, the Lord is great, and that our Lord is above all gods. So, hey, it says in the scriptures that uh, in, in, in that day that these other heathens, these heathen nations are gonna say, hey, we, we, we've, we've uh, inherited lies and falsehood from our fathers. Uh -huh. These false gods and other religions these people have uh, were, were brought up in because Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and the laws, statutes, and commandments are going to be supreme in that day. That's going to be that's going to be the rule of the world, and anybody that goes against it is going to get that rod of iron between their eyes. Oh. Or as it says in Zechariah 14, hey, we're going to put curses on them, uh, put droughts in their lands. They don't come up to serve our power, our high holy days. It's going to be our way or the highway. Oh. Simple as that. And hey, we're getting a head start on it right now. I uh, call hello Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That we've been that we've been blessed to be called because we don't know who's chosen yet but we've been called to be woken up at this time and to understand what's going on and have this chance to come back to our power now barak desire be chosen at the end of the day huh. um the next precept is uh, judges 10 and 13. Okay, let me get, get that up okay. this is judges 10 and 13 yet 
ye have forsaken me and served other gods, wherefore I will deliver you no more. You can stop at 14. Okay. Verse 14. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. So, Jake, if y'all want to continue to, you know, give infinite honors to the Kobe Bryans, to the, the such and such, the, you know, the allies, even though, you know, the, the topic is mainly about uh, these these men right now that, that Jake is worshiping. See if Kobe going to save you in that day. Where's Kobe Bryant now? Man, that man in the spirit world. Where's him and his daughter? <laughs> and they in their right mind now. <laughs> right mind. Kobe probably looking down at, at Jason Tatum like, no, like, please, no. Like, you you tripping, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, it's, at the end of the day, keep on going at that route and see what's going to happen. Who you going to call on on that day? Because the most high let you know that I ain't, I ain't fucking with you. I ain't, who? You, 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 you give infinite honors to Kobe. You, you give, you know, you respect this man more than me. I, I'm the one that made you. I created everything about you. But at the end of the day, you gonna choose him over me? Nah, call him. I'm I'm not dealing with that no more. See if you, your wristbands <laughs> or your 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 uh, your Instagram page full of Kobe Bryant pictures are gonna save you when these famines hit. Gun. When these race wars hit. When you got martial law troops on the streets gunning up and bayonetting people. Who, who, call on Kobe then. Come. See if Kobe if Kobe gonna come down on a helicopter yeah. and, and throw a rope down and save your ass. Uh, it won't happen, Jake. Uh, next, you get Deuteronomy 32 and 29. Kind. This is Deuteronomy 32 and 29. Oh, that they were wise, that they understood this, so like I said, 29 or 39? Uh, 32 and 29? 39. 30, 39. So like uh, 32 and 39? Kind. Kind. This is Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there anything that can deliver out of my hand. So plain, again, the Lord, the Lord talking this shit right here. He let you know what it is. So, you know, they got the saying, you know, Jake like to say right now, I'm I'm him. You know, the Lord let you know that I'm I'm him. I do all these things. So continue on that path of bullshit and man, the Lord gonna deal with you. And most likely it's gonna end with, with fire and brimstone. Um I got a quick one for you. Con, con. Con, this is Amos chapter three. I'm going to read verses 1 to 2 and then jump down to verse 6 to, to back up that Deuteronomy. Hear this word that Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up out of the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. God. And what were, what were some of the iniquities? Hey, idol worship. God. Jake... Jake, you use an example, Jake being brought out of the out of the land of Egypt. Jake saw Egypt smitten with the ten, with the ten plagues. Jake saw the Red Sea uh, splitting in half and Jake walked through it. And then immediately Jake went to fucking complaining. So how much more now when 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 great acts of old haven't take place before Jake's eyes and is simply on spirit, spirit and faith right now? Huh. Two thirds is a bigger number than the one third here in America. A lot of you Jakes are gonna get cut off for your goddamn iniquity, cut off for following after those other idols, thinking that these other idols and these men think that they can save you. As it says in uh, Isaiah, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. But this is a uh, verse verse six to back up that Deuteronomy 32. You got it. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city? And Yahweh hath not done it. Come on, man. Again, the Lord talking his shit. He let y'all know it's only one way out this thing if you continue to go down that route. And like I said, back in that Deuteronomy, he let you know that I do the killing. You know, even though the, you know the Lord not going to come down here and actually go and kill everybody individually, he going to send people to come and he going to send the angels specifically to come and do his work and it's through him too he, through he's the he's the, the 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 godfather giving down the orders for, for the angels to come handle business come. everything 
any path you take is going to lead back to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Whether, whether you're of that elect and you come back to him in righteousness and get beamed up, mm -hmm. or whether you're a wicked nigga and get put to death and go to the spirit world, who you going back to? Any well, path you take, you're going back to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And he's the big general, time. the big stepper out here. Yes, Another idol of Jake, <laughs> Kevin Gates, yeah. talking about, talk, talking all this big shit. What was that one thing he said about God? Like, I'm a... Honestly, I don't pay that much attention some, to that. It was that some, some nigga shit he said. He's yeah. like, I'm, I'm a, I'm a go to war with God or something. Some, some supreme nigga shit. <laughs> and now he on suicide watch because his wife cheating on him with the, with the, with the trainer. But I thought you were the, the big stepper, the big general. Nah, I, I stopped paying attention to Jake once he became a, a, a Muslim a Indian chief. He's 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 two two at once. He walks around with the with the the what is that of of a bird a feather. He walks in with a feather, you know, and he all everything about Allah with that guy like that's that's a complete clown. Like I I give no energy towards that man. Okay, okay. What you got next? Uh, uh next I have Joshua twenty four and twenty. Okay, okay. I got it for you. Really, just harping in the point of. Y'all gonna see what's gonna happen if, if you keep on forsaking the most high. This is Joshua 24 and 20. If ye forsake Yahweh and serve strange gods, then he will turn and do you hurt and consume you after that he had done you good. Uh, and that's the point. Like, he's letting you know that that's the only good that could come out of this thing. I'm gonna have to, you're gonna have to get your issue. If you continue to serve these other gods, there's no way around it. So go ahead, go ahead, Jason Tatum. Go ahead, uh, majority of, of the Jakes in the world. Go go ahead and keep on idolizing these these carnal men, these you know, this flesh, and keep on thinking that everything's going gonna end up okay. The Lord, the Lord got something for you. Hey, cursed be the man that trusteth in man and that make it the the flesh of the arm is strength. And what the most high also say. Hey, you should be afraid of him that can destroy the body and the soul, uh, not just of him that can destroy the flesh. Because uh, uh, who, who gave the, uh, who gave, speaking of, speaking for Esau in this example, mm -hmm. a lot of Jake's uh, scared of Esau because he got the cops or the military and all that. Mm -hmm. But who gave him all that power at the end of the day? The Most High. The most high. Shit, I got. Let me get one to back, to back that up real quick. Uh, but, you know, and, and through all this, it, it all comes with understanding. Because a, a quick testimony I could give, you know, back in my days as a, as a, uh, a centurion in the, the Roman, the Roman uh, army. I sat and talked with an with a Edomite guy before who, you know, through the spirit, it, it, it comes, comes back full around uh, for me understanding. But just not at that point in time, me not understanding the word idolized. So idolization and idolatry, you know, this this is prior to truth and before me knowing anything about these words. But that's something that is is really common in the J community that we idolize. If, if we really like somebody and you know we respect them, which is the the proper word, we respect those guys. If you continue, so like it. If you say that you idolize these guys, you don't know how much damage you're actually doing, which I didn't know at the time. And the guy actually sat me down and, and talked to me about it and was like, nah, you know, once upon a time, I was telling him, oh, my idols is, is Reggie Bush and uh, my idols is, is Wiz Khalifa and so on and so forth. And he was like, no, cut me plain short right there. You don't idolize nobody. And it, it took me a while to understand it. He's like, nah, this, this is what my people say. If we really like somebody, I, I idolize them. He's like, nah, you only, the only person that you're supposed to idolize or, you know, if anything, give high respect to is the most high because at the end of the day a lot of these i mean majority of these men ain't shit out here but you got it bro they set up they set up by you saw and some of our elder bros make good points all the time in, in some of the the the, the worst hoods in, in other places you got some jakes that are better than kobe bryant you got jakes huh. that are better rappers than these rappers that they set up and all that yeah. and the only reason they were set up is because esau is using them as a puppet to push a wicked agenda out here huh. And just the back of what you were saying with your account when you were saying, oh, what's the problem with worshiping these people? Because this is what what 
what my community does. Right. In the scriptures, it says, follow not a multitude to do evil. The majority of our people are snared by these 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 idols and and men and wayward philosophies out there. And as it says all throughout the scriptures, many more are going to be cut off than are going to be saved. Okay. A narrow narrow is the path that leadeth to life, but wide is the path that leadeth to destruction. Okay. I got one to back you up real quick. Okay, you got it. This is Isaiah fifty one verse twelve. I, even I, am he that comforteth you. Who art thou? that thou shouldest be afraid of a man that shall die and of the son of man which shall be made as grass. Come on, man. Who? That's, that's the question. Who? And we know who that is. We letting you know through these, through these, these precepts, these scriptures that, you know, the Lord, he going to continue to talk his shit. I am him. Isn't that, isn't that his name? Him. He, I, I am. He is. He is. Come on, man. So it's, it's, it's playing again. And, you know, I ended off with this Jeremiah 13 and 16. I got it for you. To conclude this this entire lesson. And I got one more for you. Come, come, come. You said Jeremiah 13 and 16? Come. This is Jeremiah 13 and 16. Give glory to Yahweh your power before he calls darkness and before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains. And while ye look for light, he turn it into the shadow of death and make it gross darkness. You know what to do, Jake. This, this, the, the purpose of this video is to not run with the masses. You dig? Like once upon, once upon a time that I did before, like I said, in my testimony all right there, that all of us, that, you know, once upon a time, we all had uh, different idols and so on and so forth of people that we, you know, highly respected at the time but didn't know that we were really putting a target on ourselves just simply saying that oh i idolize this man this this is my idol man i i first time seeing this man oh man you my idol uh i i, I there's so much i love about you but at the end of the day what you need to understand jay is that you're putting a target on your back if you continue to go down that road but like i said give glory to the most high which we do we give all infinite honors and prayers to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. It's, it's the respect thing, Jake. Jake want to talk about respect. This is respect. This is the respect that you're supposed to give. Come. I got to say one more for you. Come. Straight and to the point. This is Exodus 34 and 14. For thou shalt worship no other God. Come. For Yahweh, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous power. Come. Plain. He's jealous. The Most High is jealous. He want all his people, you know, in which he's going to get, you know, whatever he wants, he's going to get. But one thing that's going to happen is everybody going to get in their right mind, some type of way. Whether you go through through the uh, the I with the ICBCMs, yeah, the I I I see ICBM 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 Salaka, but all these damn alphabets. Yeah, the alphabets is is, is crazy. But either you're going to get your mind right with one of them popping you on top of your head and roasting you in this this uh, soon-to-be oven, or, you know, you're going to hop back on the right track and do the right thing, Jay. But you got anything else, Doc? Simple as that, I Come. Well, I pray that this video, this lesson was edifying. Before we go, we want to give infinite honors and prayers to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rekahagwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles who taught us this word in truth and sincerity. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect. And Shalom. Shalom.